Hey everyone. Yeah, I know you don't see me very often. I'm just on here real quick because I'm going to turn this around and hopefully I'm going to be able to show you what I did with those uh, shoe boxes that I put my molds on. And I just want to say hey because I don't come on here very often where you can see my face anyway. So if I can do this, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you how I use the ah okay and that's what I did now this is where all my molds are at right now they're all the way down there in those drawers and those tubs and in the cubicles but this is where I use the 12 that I got and as you can see they are stuffed with molds and I could use 12 more because I still have some in the little tubbies. I have some over here. Most of those are small. I have a few down there. I have some sitting here. I have a few over here. But for the most part, that got a bunch of them. And I think if I get a, another set, I should be good. For right now, anyway. <laughs> No, I think it would actually give me a little extra to put new molds in. Okay. Now, hopefully I'll be able to do this. Let me see if this is going to work. Okay, let me see if I can flip it over. Woo, okay, let's see if I can get it on the little thing without messing it up and it going weird oh did that work oh my word it worked oh uh, yes well i am happy that i was able to do that now at least you don't see just my hands <laughs> well you do now but uh, all right i have no idea what i'm doing this is uh i don't know what day it is anymore this is tuesday now, I know what this is. I ordered this from Amazon. I have no idea what this is. I don't know who it's from. It's not Amazon. Uh, I don't know what this is. And I'm, I'm trying to look at the... Yeah, no, I'm not sure. But we're going to open these. And we may do some mix to mold. Okay. This I want to do in resin. And I know I want to do it in resin because I want it for my bathroom. goodness I can't get this open well okay it came in a bag and then it came in another bag I'm hoping this is good I was a little disappointed in that box when I poured it do y'all know what that is that's a soap dish and it has that drain where you can put the bar soap. And yes, we use bar soap at our sink. We do not use liquid soap. I prefer bar soap. Um, and that, that will be wonderful to set right there. So, I got that so I could make us a holder. And I will be making more. And I have no idea what this is. And that's a little spooky. Uh, I don't know what it is. And I'm afraid to show it on camera because, I mean, it is to me, right? Yes, it is to me. Okay. I mean, it looks like a professional bag, okay? It looks like it came from a business. But it's not Amazon. And it's not Timu, unless Timu decided to, to do something weird. And I can't think of anybody that anybody else that would send me anything. 
So we're opening. Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. Who is this from? Seriously, this is from somebody. It has to be from somebody. Oh, I got my cups. <laughs> oh, I got my cups. Who is this from? This is Amazon. Oh, this is a gift from somebody. Oh, my word. Karen, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting this, okay? Karen sent this. It says, thank you for all you do. I know you can never have enough cups. Enjoy. And yes, you're right. I can never have enough of these cups. And I am so, so happy to see these cups. And I know some people would probably think paper cups. Oh, but I, <laughs> I am so happy to see these. Very, very much. Thank you so much. But there's something else in here. <gasps> Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is from Karen, too. I saw this on your gift registry and had to get this. I know you will make wonderful things with this from Karen. Oh, good gracious. Okay, yeah, I did want this. I did. I've never used it before, okay? It is the, the glow-in-the-dark glitter. I have never used it. The only thing I've ever used glow-in-the-dark has been the powder. I've never used the glow-in-the-dark glitter. And you know what I want to do now is I want to put glow-in-the-dark glitter in my soap dish. <laughs> ah, I think it would be so cool to have that thing glowing in the dark at night. Uh, Karen, thank you so much. It is very, very much appreciated. I, I did not know what it was. It was confusing me. Um, ah. This is, yes. See, this is stuff I use all the time that I need all the time. And this I appreciate very, very much. Okay. I'm excited about this. It's glow-in-the-dark glitter. See what it looks like. Ooh, that glows in the dark. This is violet. Oh, wow. That's yellow. We're going to test it out in a minute. Ooh, I like the ruby. Ruby, sky blue. Oh, my. Have y'all ever used any of this? Green, pink. Salmon. Ooh, I like that color. Hot pink. Ooh, that is very, very pretty. White. That's glow in the dark, really? Purple. Fuchsia. And orange. Oh, wow. It come with instructions. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, glitter's gonna sink. I need to keep these little notes. Why did they put so many pieces of paper in there? I see why it does. Okay. I don't keep the other things, but I do keep the notes. Yes, I do. I keep the notes from everybody. Where's the other note? Yeah, I keep these. I do keep those. I don't keep the other stuff. Oh, wow. See, I was going to do mixed mold. Oh, now I want to do... Now I want to try this, <laughs> which means 
I'm going to have to pour some resin, but we're not going to be able to because it's already so light. Uh, let's see. Let me see. What have I got? What mold did I get that I've not poured yet? From I've not poured the big crystal. This is not very deep, so if I poured resin in that, hmm, because it is very shallow, okay? It's not very deep, so this might be a good one to pour. So let's go with the purple and the green and the yellow. And the pink. Do they have a blue? And the blue. And the orange. It's almost like yeah let's let's keep those colors right there we'll try those colors in this one two three four five six okay I don't know y'all I'm making this up as I go along And I'm trying to figure out what I want in this. And I think I want this a solid color, but I want it to be a mica, I think. And I want it to be a teal mica. And I think I'm gonna go over here to Hippie Crafters. Micas. And see if I can't find the, the teal. And I think that's what I want to do this in. Just plain teal. That's what I want. Okay. So we're going to do two. So I need to get the heat mat over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, can I get both of them on the heat mat? <laughs> Good gracious. Yes, it's on the heat mat. And yes, I can get them both on here. That's cool. Oh, nope. <laughs> it goes that way. Can I get to the buttons? Yes, I can get to the buttons that way. And can y'all see this? Yes, you can see this. Okay. And 
And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix up some resin. And when I get the resin mixed up, I will come back. Okay, we are back and I have mixed up seven ounces of resin. I am gonna take a little bit and pour in this cup to keep. And then we are going to get a spoonful of each of these. That's not a spoonful of that fit in there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want glitter all over the place. Okay, that's yellow. Sky blue. Pink. Purple. I'm not using as much as you, it looks like. It looks like I'm just dumping it out, and I'm really not. <laughs> okay. Now, I want a little bit of pigment in there, but I don't want a real dark pigment. And I'm almost ready to say I want to uh, I got these for Let's Resin. Oh, do I not have any Let's Resin pigments in the Okay, that's Let's Resin. Gray. Really? None of those were Let's Resin. Okay. Maybe Let's Resin's back here. I didn't think so, though. I'm trying to get it off the shelf. None of this is Let's Resin. Wow, I thought I had some Let's Resin pigments. But if I do, they're all gone. Unless I put them somewhere else. Oh, goodness. Did I put them somewhere else? These are definitely not. Pigments. Yeah, this is odd. This is just really odd. I've got, I've got a whole section of pigments missing. Okay. Uh, all my Let's Resin pigments are gone. And they're on that white. I know what I put them on. I 
put them on the little white storage shelf. I had two of them. And I put colorants for the uh, I put the colorants I had two of these and I thought well I'll use one and it was right up here and it's no longer here <laughs> it's no longer anywhere Yes, it is. It's here. Oh, see, I'm losing it, y'all. <gasps> oh, maybe I need to just stop and start all over. It seems like ever since Tweedles died, I'm just not. I don't know. don't know. Okay. There's a little bit of yellow. There's a little bit of blue. See, I knew that I had these colors. I'm going to use a little bit of watermelon for that, I think, because I don't have a pink. A little bit of light purple. A little bit of orange. And I don't really have a green either. Wow. Hmm. I'm going to use this. I don't know. And let's get this in here before it all gets hard. to use a little bit of white in this and I'm using the casting craft white I'm going to mix this up really good. And I'm going to try to pour it around the rim.
and y'all just bear in mind that I've never done this tray before and I've never done this before so uh, I don't have any idea on how that is going to come out I would love to to tell y'all oh yeah I know exactly what I'm doing oh yeah it's going to do this and this and this but I'm just being honest I'm a crafter just like y'all I just bring you along with me okay I'm just putting like two drops I just want a little bit of color not much and I may just put okay that's not even open And I didn't shake these up. Oh, these tweezers are so, I mean, these scissors are so little bitty tiny thing. Okay. This says grain, so let's use the, let's use all the Let's Resin. It says grain. It looks blue. It says green, so we'll use it. And the next time I can't find them and I start freaking out, remind me that, that they're up there. Okay. And then this I'm going to put, I don't know. Let's do this. That's a pretty color, right? I think this is uh, a chameleon. glow in the dark gray. <laughs> yeah. I'm glow in the dark. Then we want glow in the dark, right? So, once again, I'm putting it around the edge. Okay. Now before I pour the the glitter, we're going to take one of these micro brushes and we're going to go all we're going to open this up really good to 
make sure that there is no air bubbles getting trapped inside there. Keep going around because I don't want there to be any air bubbles. Okay. Now, I get several. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to just start pouring it. I don't know if this is going to be enough or not. And let's pour the, the purple next to... Mixed in all the way. And I remember this is supposed to be glow in the dark. See the orange. I may have to mix up some more resin. We may not have enough. I thought seven ounces would be plenty, but I don't think it's going to be. Okay, now let's do the green. I have no idea what order why I'm just looking at the colors and thinking well okay this would look good here and that would look good there but I you know Swirl them once I get them done. Last one is blue.
I'm gonna mix up. Uh, I don't know how many more ounces I need to mix up for that. I'll say three more ounces, maybe. I'm going to blow it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pour hmm. Let's see I'm going to pump a little bit in here My, my gloves are sticky and that's the reason why I'm not stopping the uh, the camera at this point I think this is going to end up being right at three ounces. It's a little tricky to do this over here. pump is great it really is but it does take a little bit longer because you're sitting there pumping it but you do have more control over it and I don't have to lift these heavy jugs up which is great my carpal tunnel has been acting up tremendously the last week or so Yeah, and this is right at three ounces because I know these cups are three ounce cups.
and I'm going to mix this up. I am going to warm this up a little bit. Hold your ears. sure I stir it good and it's pretty full but I want the tray full Now I'm going to go right down the center with this clear stuff. <laughs> uh, yes, indeedy. And since y'all are not going to see this video until tomorrow, I'm not going to... I'm not going to put this on the heat mat. I'm going to let it do its thing. Lots of bubbles in that. Okay. Okay, hold your ears. Just want to make sure I've got it mixed good. I can get the bubbles out with the heat and with the alcohol. Okay, here we go, right down the center. Oh goodness, was that not enough? Here we go.
Okay. I think that's good. Remember, this is going to be glow in the dark. But she's going to be really cool. Okay, and we are going to do the soap dish too. Uh, and I'm going to change my gloves. Uh, that way I can turn the camera off. Woo wee! And let's see. I'm looking for the, the glow in the dark powder that I got off of Etsy. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to use this in with the tail, and we're going to see how that works. And I will be back when I get the resin. Uh, I wish they would tell you how much resin. See, let's resins molds do. They all do. And I poured all the Let's Resin Molds, right? Except for the, uh, the big candlesticks. I'm looking to see. Room for that on there. Um, I'm looking to see if I can do another mold. That's bent really bad. Okay. Oh, I can do the aisle. In the amber. Where is the aisle mold that I made? So I put all this stuff up, and now I'm going to have to remember. But because you can see them, I was able to go right to it. Which is cool. Hmm. Nope, that won't fit on there. Yeah, I almost wish I had a way of making that into two different molds. But I'm afraid because... Should I try it? Y'all are screaming at me, aren't you? just this piece right here that I'm worried about. If I get that piece, woohoo! Oh no! Oh, yep, I ruined the pendant one. Oh, poo poo hiss, y'all. Look at that. I did, I ruined the pendant one. Oh well. I can always pour another one. Don't throw this stuff away either. And this is why you should do them singly. That right there. Yep. I still have the earrings, so, so I can just pour another one.
was outside today cutting bushes trimming bushes down and there's bush limbs all over my backyard now that's actually quite pretty isn't it this would never have been made if Karen hadn't sent me those isn't it odd how things happen okay let me get more clothes on I don't have a tree to go behind it right now, but I am going to do it in amber. Uh, I just want to touch my colors. I'm looking over at my alcohol inks. I got these. Did I try these? I think I did, right? Ooh, coffee. Coffee or bronze? With coffee for the uh, yeah. Okay. This is going to be the color, but I'm going to put some glow in the dark since we're doing a glow in the dark. Should I do a glow in the dark powder in the <laughs> in the eye pen? <laughs> Ooh, the eyes. The eyes should be glow in the dark, right? I wonder how I would do that. Yeah, I'm trying to get something out of. Off the mold real quick. Oh, this is when you need a glow in the dark pen. That's when that comes in handy. Tape's not getting that. Why is the tape not? Something blue on the aisle, and I don't want that. This aisle is so, so uh, detailed and deep. because do you see the spots I'm talking about? And it may just be little pieces in there. Something got in there. I know, I'm trying not to spray too much alcohol, okay, because of the the crystals. I learned my lesson there.
trees there isn't down here. That's odd, huh? I don't know. But, okay. I think this is going to help. Uh, oh, that's a mat. I think this is going to hold six ounces at least. I know, I should probably put flowers or something in this. I know. Because it's just going to be really plain teal. I understand. Maybe I should do teal and gold with clear. Since I've rearranged everything, I'm having a hard time finding anything. I can't find my gold flakes, y'all. And yes, I'll probably get them for myself. Yeah, that would be pretty. That'd be pretty in tail, wouldn't it? That clear with, okay, that's what we'll do. We'll do partly clear and partly tail. And I think it's gonna take at least six ounces, right? That's what we're gonna go for. Okay, I'll be back when uh, I have the resin mixed up. Okay, we are back and I've got some resin here that I'm gonna put some of this Hippie Crafter tail mica in. Oh, that is such a pretty green. Okay. Now, got some clear over here. I'm going to pour some of this <coughs> well, maybe. too much. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's what I should have done, right? Okay, we are putting this up. Okay, I know you can't see me, and please forgive me. 
I'm just trying to get it over here so I can get a brush in here. I don't want it to get on the tray. Okay. Now, I am going to mix this up really good and try to get those pieces a little bit finer. be able to okay and what I'm going to do I'm going to try to pour I want that up there. I want this down here. <laughs> and so I'm going to pour it like that. Wow, this is definitely not enough resin. thought I had just about enough resin. I don't think that's even going to be enough. kept a little bit out for the aisle, but oh no. That's exactly what I did not want to happen. Yep, I'm going to have to mix up more. Yeah, and I'm poking down in it make sure that there's no bubbles. I don't want there to be any bubbles. Okay. cannot turn the camera off to do this. <laughs> because I've got resin all over. 
my gloves. So let's just make up uh, two more ounces real quick. I hope that's enough. I'm just pumping the resin out. And I think this is almost three ounces. There was something on the popsicle stick. What is that? I don't know, but I got it. I've got to mix this. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to apply some heat. So, not much. enough to make it easier to mix. And I'm just going to pour clear resin in there. Maybe we'll have enough to do the rest of that and the owl. I really want it to, to have glow in the dark eyes though. That would be awesome. I don't know how. I wonder if I UV resin some of that glow in the dark yellow glitter. Okay. See air bubbles.
lots of bubbles in here. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, goodness, look at that. It's going to be just enough to do that with. Look at there. Okay. I want to do that all. So we're gonna we're gonna make up two tablespoons. So I'm gonna make mix. One tablespoon Okay So I'm going to pour it in here so I can stir it a lot better with the alcohol ink. But first, I've got to figure out how... I'm changing gloves. the white one sorry I'm going to use this white paint marker but what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to get on more gloves struggle to get your gloves on. Do y'all change gloves as often as I do? That one went on really easy. Okay. I need something. I need a ceramic tile is what I need. So I'm going to come over here. Get one of my ornaments. This is what I used to do alcohol inks on. Make ornaments. These are ceramic tiles, y'all. Okay. Well, I've got to do this pretty fast. So I'm going to take just a little bit of this glow in the dark powder. I don't know if this is going to work. And I'm gonna put a little spoon. Can y'all see me? Yes, you can. Cool. Look over this way. That's probably way too much, but and you're asking why I'm using this instead of just regular paint, because this sticks to the mold. Regular paint does not. I'm 
getting a little fine paint brush and I'm mixing in the glow in the dark powder once again I'm not sure if this is gonna work okay I don't have a clue Something just fell. I've got way too much. I know that much. It's drying too fast on me. Okay. Let me just get that right there. see if I can't get it on the eyeball I can clean what I don't want off I'm just trying to get it on right now Just wanted the that part of the eyeball. Yeah, I'm cleaning my brush out before it gets hard. Even though I buy these off of Timu, these are fairly good brushes, so. I don't want to waste them. Okay, then I'm going to take the micro brush and I'm going to spray it down really good with alcohol over here. And I'm going to get my head in the way. Okay, good enough, I think. I hope. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, but it would be really cool if it did, huh? Okay, I'm going to dry it. Okay, and I've got my resin over here waiting to be mixed up. Let me heat it up a little bit. Mixed up good. I 
think I have too much resin in here. Okay, I think that's mixed up good. Boy, I'll be glad when that shaker gets here, but it's taking forever to get my Timu orders in now. And this is the Alcohol Pearl Coffee. I'm putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I think. How about ten? Boy, that's not very... I'm going to put a little bit more in. It's cool to watch that change, isn't it? Okay, that's sort of cool looking. Okay, I'm just mm, I want it darker than that. That looks pink to me. You see what I did? Okay, and I have a little bit left, so let's do a crystal. Yeah, I like these crystals. This is probably not going to be enough for that one. I am poking the tip, making sure there's no bubbles anywhere in this. And I over poured it. 
but that's okay. We have succeeded in getting all three things done. Now what we don't know yet, and won't know until in the morning, is if, oh no, is if any of these turned out. Oh we, I'm glad I saw that. And if I put the top on, it is going to hit that. Hmm. I wasn't going to turn this on. Uh oh. What happened? What light went off? I just lost the light. <laughs> it's right on the setting button, y'all. Setting. I've got... Uh, yep, I've got to do it. what I'm trying not to happen, okay? And so, and I need to cover it, and I know I need to cover it. But I think what I'm going to do Yeah, I'm looking up underneath there to see if it's touching anything, and it's not. And I think that will keep anything from getting on it, I hope. And uh, we'll either be back later tonight, or I'll just wait until in the morning and then come and check it. But I'll see you then. Good morning, everyone. It's probably about 8 o'clock in the morning. I've made a pot of coffee, but I've not had any yet. Uh, my grandson, which doesn't very rarely ever ask me for anything, um, asked me to make bacon. And so that's what I did. And so now our house smells like bacon. I've not had my coffee, but I, <laughs> I wanted to come down here and see what happened last night. I've not been down here since 
I covered it up. I have no idea what it looks like. We're going to find out together. I hope nothing spilt. Ooh, everything looks pretty good. Let me remove this bottle that I put there to keep the top from getting on that. Okay, here is the crystal. It's still sort of soft. And it's, uh, it's been on here now for, okay, let's see. It was on the heat mat for two and a half hours. But all together, it's, it's been curing since 10 o'clock. So eight, nine, ten hours. So I'm a little surprised that this is not rock hard, but now it is smaller. Let me remove that. That is actually a very, very pretty color. And I like the fact it has bits floating around in there. And I don't know, let me get this. Let me get a sheet of that. It's metallic because the, uh, but then it looks like there's little bits of something floating around. And I sort of like that because in actual crystals, that is actually what happens. So, now this, I'm afraid I'm going to be disappointed in this. I'm afraid it's not going to be dark enough for me. But, we're going to see. Okay, I'm going to have to, it's not shiny. Why is that shiny? The mold is shiny. I'm going to have to put some UV resin on there. But first of all, I want to see if it's either it's even going to glow. Which means I need to get that plugged in. Oops. Yep, I lost a light. Can you tell? We're going to wait a minute and see if that... I didn't get any clear. I was hoping to get a clear area. Oh well. We are going to demold this. If we can. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to begin with this. I know you all can't see me, but I'm having to put pressure. <sighs> On this side. <sighs> yeah, I did this side first. I don't know if this is right or not, but. <sighs> this was the. I thought I could grasp better. Okay. Wow, this is not an easy mold to take out. 
Or maybe I just need my coffee. <laughs> How is everybody today? It's rainy here. I woke up, I opened up the windows, I looked out, and it started raining. Which I guess we should be thankful for the rain. I'm just cleaning up this crystal mold and getting all the little bits off of it. Okay. And looky there. That is actually quite pretty. I actually really, really like it, and yes, it almost has a stony effect, and I don't know if it's coming through the camera, but where, where I poured the clear and the foil flakes, there's a little bit of clear around some of them. It is not totally opaque, but it is where it needs to be. I don't know if you can tell, but it actually has a really cool look to it. And I'm quite happy with this. Even though I didn't get the clear, I was hoping to have the clear up here and the darker down here. But because that's what I was hoping for and that's where I put it, that's where I got the most of this at. And that's what I like. I really like this mold, actually. And that is actually going into my bathroom. Okay, let's let's check on this owl. Okay, I'm going to put it up underneath. That one is going to glow. Okay, so before we get into this we're going to put some UV resin on the eyeballs and I'm going to put them back up underneath the light and now we're going to take this out let me put these molds back and I'm not quite sure let's see if we can get that over here and get this off Okay, let me put that up. And let's demold this. And let's hope there's not any air bubbles. Oh, that is actually quite pretty. 
Oh, wow. And there are no air bubbles. Now, I have noticed that this is sinking in a little bit. Now, it's still soft. So, I could still... And I'm wondering if I didn't put... No, nope, that's not big enough. Hmm. I need to find something. Okay, let me find. We'll see if this will work. I have these. Let's see if. I think that will work. And let it dry that way. Totally. And, and I'm looking to see, and that does look, but I, I don't know if you can see this, but it's not totally opaque. It's sort of semi-transparent in the best places. Now, around the edges, it is opaque, but in the center, oh, this is glow-in-the-dark. Oh, my. Okay, I forgot about this. So we're going to have to let this set out here. Up underneath the... I'm going to set it right here. Well, I'll wait for the owl, and then we will we will try it. Because I, I totally forgot that it's supposed to be glow in the dark. Okay. Let me see if I can't get the UV... light going on this and I'm going to clean this up a little bit and I'm going to put some black UV resin on the back to make this pop a little bit oh this is still soft yeah I can't clean this up because it's still soft okay let me try the little scissors
Okay. I don't like the fact that it's so, um, let me see, this is black, that's white, I don't want white, I would take brown, there is no brown. Gray. Orange, blue, white, eggplant. Okay, this looks like a brown. I'm just sort of squirting it everywhere, and then I will uh, oh no, did y'all see what I was doing? I was squirting UV resin out with the UV lamp going on right there. I may have ruined this piece because of it. Ew, I don't like this UV resin. It's not sticking to the... What's up with this? I actually used this before. But I don't think I like it. To be quite honest with you, this is off a of Timu. Let me blow it around with the heat gun for a minute. Just give me that a little bit with the heat.
Okay. So I'm removing this for just a minute. And I'm putting it over there. this down here and see if it's glowing yet. Okay, I don't see it glowing, y'all. I don't see it glowing. It should be just light, right? If I leave it up underneath there, it should. It doesn't have to, well, sunlight. Okay, well, we're not going to get much of that today here. Uh, I don't like this thing. I paid five dollars for that at Publix. Okay. It's just an empty box. But it's not glowing, and I don't understand why with this much glow-in-the-dark glitter as I put in there and then I put glow-in-the-dark powder in with the other paint well no the other uh, pigment so oh there it goes okay yeah it needs light on it okay I have this lamp right here that I'm going to tilt down toward the piece and you may notice it on the camera that our lighting is not quite the same but I've got it tilted toward that piece let's see okay let's see if that helped nope it didn't really help did not. It needs to be darker. I don't like that at all. Okay. Let's do something to make it better. I'm missing my gold pen. Okay, that's better. Just a touch of gold on the eyeballs is better. But I got too much, so let's get some of it off of there. Okay. And then we're gonna highlight this and gold. Okay. This color I don't like. <laughs> it's 
so far the crystal one is my favorite one of these owls but we'll see It's thundering out now. Can y'all hear that? I didn't think we were supposed to have thunderstorms today. But, evidently we were. Okay, that looks so much better. So, so much better. Yeah, that looks, that looks a lot better with the gold on it, y'all. These are really cool. And yes, the eyes glow. But we're going to put it back over here and let it get up underneath the UV lamp for a few minutes. I don't know if I'm going to or not. It may not look good, but I had this idea. No, I don't have enough of those. See, I was gonna, I was gonna do this on each end, but I don't have enough of those, and I was gonna like stick some colored ones. Why is there a white thing in there? Hmm. That's odd. That doesn't belong there. What is that? And I don't like that. I don't like that. So 
So I was going to put UV resin with a couple of these bigger ones in the middle. And a little bit of color. And I was going to do it on each end. And I thought it would look really cool, but I don't have enough. And I can't even get it to stand up enough to even show you what I was talking about, but just so you could sort of semi-imagine. And then have one down at that end too. I think it would look cool, but because I don't have enough to do that with, and that's just too big. I really like that though. I want to stick a few little colored ones in there though and I am going to make a few smaller colored ones and I want them stuck in this one to make a bigger see that is when it becomes fun where you can create different things and I want the the pinks and I want the purples and I want greens and I want blues all in there and make a big old crystal mound and that's what I'm going to do with this one but I had those pieces right here that fell apart and I thought well but that's not going to work for that so we'll use it on something else So we will just move this back over here. And we'll just collect them until we get enough. Make a crystal garden. I love this tray. Now I could put little handles, but I don't really need to. But see, it's still soft. So I'm going to leave this like this. Uh, oh, we were seeing if it glows, and it must definitely glows, <laughs> but I don't know how to show it to you. Let's see. Let me put this one down. Oh, yeah, that one does too. I just got so... I mean, yeah, I, I really like it since I put the gold on there. Uh, but the crystal is still my favorite one. Isn't that odd? Let's turn some of these lights off. We've only got one light left on. I don't know if you can see. Nope. You can see that glowing though. Yeah. See there? It looks like a starry. Look at that. Yes, it definitely does glow in the dark. And it glows even more 
when it's totally dark. I can't turn the light off in here. I'm trying to block it so you can see it. And that's just with it being under that light for just a couple of minutes. So if it was in uh, I don't know if you can see you can't tell the eyes. I don't know if the eyes are going to glow really well or not. I don't think they are. They do up underneath the thing. Where is it? They do up underneath the thing, but you can't really see it because there's too much. I can't tell where it is. Okay, you, you sort of get a hint of it, but they do glow. Okay, let me let me turn the lights back on because I can't even see what I'm doing down here. <laughs> oh, I have I have so many lights. I have one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Well, I get hot down here now. And then the, the garage light, I have to go in the hallway to turn back on. Yep. So, I think all the pieces turned out awesome. That is stunning. Uh, and, uh, that piece is real. Oh, there's one little tiny air bubble right there. Which is, oh, is that one? Yep, one little, one, two little tiny. That's the only ones I see, though. I'm making sure that it's still because I don't want it bowed out that way either but I definitely don't want it sinking in that way and so I'm, I'm making sure before I leave it here most definitely nope okay I think that's going to work because it doesn't need it oh it does right there why is that going in? Hi. Okay, I think that's going to work to keep it from, okay, yeah, what we have to do, <laughs> but I'm very happy with all the pieces, how they came out. I want to say a big thank you again to Karen. Uh, I absolutely loved the gifts. You gave me such a practical gift, which I actually love. 
which is something that I use all the time that I have to get because it works so well for my mix to mold and sometimes even with the resin it works really well but then you gave me an exciting creative gift also that I've never used before and this piece right here would not have ever been created if you have not have done that so thank you so much uh, it was very very appreciate appreciated and and also um, Mary your gift of the crystal molds um, that uh, that is going to be something that I'm going to have a lot of fun with uh, for a long long time and I'm sitting here thinking ooh should I put crystals on the soap dish <laughs> Uh, and I, and now, since I thought of it, we're going to have to see. I'm going to come over here to get a few little... I wish I had more colors, and I think that's what I'm going to uh, do. I think I'm going to just make several different colors. Uh-oh, I just dropped one. So that I have them on hand. So whenever, see the colors don't really work, but oh, that would work. I don't want anything down there. See, our bar soap's not really big. But I'm afraid maybe the soap would get this. That would be hard to clean. Okay. See, I've talked myself right out of it. But sometimes it's hard to even see. I can't even tell what the bottom is of this. Oh, there. No? See, I can't tell. I think we're just going to end up doing a crystal garden. I'm sitting here looking at different things, y'all. Okay, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go upstairs and get me some coffee. I have not had any coffee today. Uh, and I'm going to try to get this uploaded to YouTube. Last time it took me four hours to get my last video uploaded four hours. It took an hour to save the video on my phone and four hours to get it uploaded. So it's not like, ooh, okay, I get the video done and I can just pop it right onto YouTube. I wish it worked that way, but it, it does not do that. Um, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, that like button for me. Um, for some reason, there's been quite a few uh, thumbs down buttons. Uh, pushed and it's okay it's it's part of it and uh, it's okay um, but I, I do appreciate each and every one of you that do uh, hit the, the thumbs up button it sort of helps counteract the ones that choose to hit the dislike button and if you've not subscribed I would love for you to do so we have gotten some awesome new subscribers and for that i'm very thankful i'm thankful for uh my viewers that have stuck with me since day one and and there's a bunch of you and thank you so much for doing that um and the facebook group is growing uh leaps and bounds this week oh it's just awesome but there's still so many of y'all that watch me all the time that's not on it and i would absolutely love for you to join and i understand if you're not part of facebook group i get it uh no if you're not far, part of facebook i i understand but if you are on facebook i would absolutely love for you to go in the description box below and find the link and go to it and join us on the facebook group um 
it's just going to get better. The more people we have in there, the better it's going to get. We have such a fantastic group of people in there. No one is ugly. We wouldn't tolerate it anyway. Uh, if somebody was ugly, uh, I would send them a message asking them if they were having a bad day, what was up. You know, um, this is not the norm for the group. Uh, but if they did it again, they would be banned. I, 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 I wouldn't even contact them. I, it, they would just be banned um, because I don't tolerate being mean and I don't tolerate hatred in any shape, form, or fashion. Um, there's, there's so much of it in this world. Uh, we're not going to have it in our group. Um, and we don't have it in there. And, and I'm so thankful and I'm so blessed for that. And the people that are there are fantastic. They just are. Um, they help each other. They share their work. Uh, I can ask a question and say, I'm still learning too, y'all. Uh, this is not like, I'm not the YouTuber that's sitting here telling you, oh, I know everything. Do it my way because this is, this. that's not me. I've done crafts since I was 14 years old, which means for 50 years I've been doing crafts. That does not mean that I am about to tell you this is how you need to do anything. You need to do you. You need to be creative the way you want to be creative. All I do is bring you along when I'm crafting. That is it. That is the bottom line. There is so much that I still don't know. And that's what I love about the Facebook group. Because I can ask. I can say, hey, have y'all, you know, have you dealt with this? If there's a question and I do know, yeah, you better believe I'm going to jump in there and, and let you know if I'm on. But if I'm not on, there's going to be somebody in that group that's going to tell you. And we've got so many creative people in that group. It's it's unbelievable the 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 creativity and the talent that that is there, and and all of them have talents in different areas, which is what is so cool because we can all learn so many different things, and, and it is it is incredible. And I am thoroughly enjoying it. And we do have two moderators in the group. One is my daughter, Ashley. And for all y'all that have been here a long time, you know who Ashley is. She's a sweetheart. Um, she doesn't have a mean bone in her body. And she would do anything in the world for anybody. Um, and she's there if you need something. Uh, she pops in and out. And Rose... Everybody knows Rose, because I talk about Rose all the time on my channel. And and she's very talented, and she's the one that I think should have been an inventor. She has an inventor spirit. She can put things together from nothing, and it amazes me every time. Um, and she knows her stuff. So she's a, she's a moderator in the group, too. And so uh, if you have a question, I'm not in there. Uh, if Rose is in there, ask Rose, because she can tell you. Um, it may not be the same way I would do it, but that does not mean that it's wrong. Uh, you know, a lot of people have their own way of doing it. And just because any of us tell you, well, this is how we do it, does not mean that's the way you need to do it. I keep saying this, but I'm going to keep stressing it. You need to be you. You need to do you. If it's something that gives you joy then that's enough. It does not matter if there is another individual on this planet that understands it. If it brings you joy when you do a piece of art and you're in there crafting, that's enough, y'all. That is enough. So, with that, I am going to say goodbye. I hope your day goes great. I will be doing a craft later on tonight. I don't know what it's going to be. Y'all know I'm spontaneous. Y'all know I don't plan any of this out. Um, and maybe that's for the best. I wouldn't do a script. Oh, you could tell if I was doing a script. Oh, it would be horrible. And that's just not me. So, uh, you know, I do me. Um, some people love it. Some people hate it. It's okay. But y'all have a great day. And um, if you've got any suggestions, please throw them out there. You know, I'm open. 
uh, if it's not something that I think I want to do, I'll tell you. You know, it's like, oh, great idea, but I don't think it's for me. But, you know, I've not ever found anything that I wouldn't try at least once. So, um, if you got something you'd like to see me do, and I know a lot of y'all want me to do polymer clay, and I will get back to polymer clay. I can guarantee you I will get back to polymer clay at some point um, because I love clay. And I do have something in the works where uh, I plan on doing a project, but it's going to very be a very lengthy project because there's going to be many, many pieces involved. Um, and so it's probably going to be closer to the fall uh, or maybe even closer to the, the beginning of winter before I get into that. Um, right now, this is the perfect time to be doing resin because the weather is getting warmer. You don't have to worry about cold temps. My garage will not be as cold. It will be easier. I will always do mixed mold. Now, I don't know. You know, the spotted thing with the elephant was a one-time event. I will be, and it was only on the elephant. Uh, the other pieces are not spotted. They came out of the same bucket of mixed mold. So I do not think it's the mixed mold. Uh, if it was the mixed mold, it would have been on all three pieces, and it was not. Uh, I am going to contact Bria Reese just, just to make sure that the formula had not been changed. But if that had been the case, then the spotting should have been on all three pieces. I'm thinking maybe it's something that's on the mold or something that's in the pigments. Uh, but I'm going to get to the bottom of it because I am a firm believer in mixed mold. Now, with resin crete, that spotting happened every time I poured anything. Every time. But I was using the resin crete. Uh, pigments and so I'm, I'm more thinking that it is the pigment color but I've used that pigment color before so and, and it didn't do that so so yeah, I, I'm no the black was new I had to open it up wasn't it oh okay yeah, the black was a new one that I had to open up prior to using. Hmm. So, I, I am going to get to the bottom of it, though. Because I love mixed mold, and I don't think it's the actual mixed mold um, uh, casting powder. Uh, it was resin crete's issue, and, and resin crete did change their formula. And I think that they did improve uh, their product, but when I first used it, and it was new when I first used it, uh, it had issues, um, and I think they knew that it had issues, and so they, they, they changed it, and they made it better. I have never, since day one, had an issue with mixed mold, and that's what made me so gung-ho over it, because I didn't, up until the elephant, um, and it's still not a big deal, and at least I don't get, with the resin crate, it would get so, uh, the color was weird. I mean, it would be one color one day, and I'd wake up, and the next day it would be totally different. And it was like the colors would not stay inside. It would absorb, and it wouldn't absorb, it would deabsorb and go to the outside of the piece. And then where you could actually wipe the colorant off. Now, that's what happened with the resin crate. And, of course, then I was having issues where uh, resin with resin crete, after a month, you could actually just peel the top layer that you poured resin. And that was that was epoxy resin. Uh, it would not work. And UV resin wouldn't work with it either. I've not had that issue with anything with mixed mold. And, you know, this right here, I'm okay with that. Because it's the way that it did it, it does not look bad. My eyeballs look really bad on this poor little elephant, but it is what it is. Um, but it, it does not look bad. And I've not sealed this yet. It may make a difference when I seal it. I don't know. Um, and I'm still talking, aren't I? 
Yes, indeed, I am. Okay, I'm gonna just shut up. I'm gonna say <laughs> oh, I can't help it. It's just it's just who I am, y'all. Uh, I'm going to say thank you for watching the video. Let me know what you think about this. I absolutely love this tray. Um, I know you, you see it with all this stuff on it, but I'm trying to keep it from uh, uh, sinking in uh, uh, because it, it turned out so well. And uh, I just don't want it to... Uh, sink in and this has come loose I wish I had something that was a little bit see I'm doing it again aren't I oh popsicle sticks right Oh, that worked. Oh, yes. Popsicle sticks are great. Yeah, I don't need... I don't need... Uh, that big stuff. I've got popsicle sticks. Oh yeah, see? Now you can see it pretty clearly. Hmm. Okay, we're going to get rid of one. Down here. I can put one right there. Ooh, yes. Okay, cool. See, that worked better. Popsicle stick, y'all. They're a wonderful thing. Yeah, that looks smooth. That and let it dry that way. I'm really happy. And I I absolutely love this glow in the It looks it looks so cool. If y'all have not ever used that, I would suggest you try it because that is just some really neat stuff. I never thought that I would be a glow in the dark type person. But it's actually really cool, sort of funky, and, and sort of uh, nerdy. And so, I, I sort of, that just sort of fits my personality. So, <laughs> uh, y'all have a great day, and, and I will see you again uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye.